yeah we are starting with the topic that is the atmospheric pollution right so first of all you should know that what is atmospheric pollution right so it is actually the you can say the contamination of air with undesirable and harmful substances that what is that now as you can see the air around right it is not a clean air you know that that it contains certain um, uh, the dust it contains it contains contains certain pollen grains it has lot of thing which should not be present in the air because it is just contaminating the air and those are not uh, the desirable substances and in fact they are harmful to us so that is the atmospheric pollution right so i repeat the definition for you write down in your copies atmospheric pollution is the contamination of air with harmful and undesirable substances right so that is just the, you can say these undesirable substances which are present and which are harmful to us are called as pollutants so there are many pollutants which are found in the atmosphere right that are polluting the air that means they are undesired and in one or any way they are harmful to us right so that is atmospheric pollution there are three main causes which are just uh, leading to the atmospheric pollution and the three main you can say the phenomena the, these are the important phenomena which are just uh, causing the adverse effect on the atmosphere and those three phenomena are acid rain you must have uh, uh, this thing listen this word uh, before as well right it is acid rain it is global warming it is ozone depletion see there are many causes which are just uh, give uh, you can say causing atmospheric pollution but out of them these three are so important or you can say these three uh, phenomenons are so dangerous they are just uh, affecting the atmosphere in a great manner that means they have uh, so much adverse effect on the atmosphere right so we'll be taking up these topics individually so that you should know what actually uh, they are causing and what we can how we can help to just reduce this effect and can just make the air pure around us right so we are just taking into the consideration the first topic that is the acid rain right so you should know what is acid rain actually as you are all familiar with the rain you know that uh, uh, you can say by the cause of water cycle rain is caused you know that that how clouds are formed how this thing uh, they get condensed and how the rain comes on the earth right so that means the rain which uh, should come on the earth it should contain of uh, should uh, you, you can say should contain the pure water right but actually it doesn't contain the pure water because the ph of the rain water is not 7 it is it lies between 5 to 3.5 that means it is somehow acidic so that means the water which we are getting from the rain is not pure and due to the pollutants uh, present in the air they are just reducing the ph that means they are just making the water acidic in nature right so you can say acid rain is a phenomena which includes all those various ways by which acid is formed in atmosphere it gets condensed and fall on earth right so i can say acid